Tuesday afternoon, Governor Bashir, alongside former Kentucky First Lady Judy Patton and other county officials gathered in Elkhorn City, Kentucky for a ribbon-cutting ceremony to officially open the Judy Patton Center for Families. The Judy Patton Center for Families is a substance use disorder residential treatment facility for women in Pike County. Governor Bashir spoke on the need for various health services locally. And I'm committed to whether it's addiction recovery services or those other services we need for our kids and our families, you ought to have it right here in Eastern Kentucky. It ought to create good Eastern Kentucky jobs. Because if we as Kentuckians know how to do one thing well, it's look out for each other. Westcare, a nonprofit organization who provides substance abuse and addiction treatment programs, domestic violence treatment and prevention, and more, has been working to open this treatment facility for women since 2007. Richard Steinberg, the president and CEO of Westcare, says that it was only fitting to name the center after Judy Patton, as her work has inspired and helped countless individuals in need. Along the line, uh, also we conned. I mean, uh, asked um, Judy to be on her board, uh, and she uh, jumped right in. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Other guest speakers included Pike County Judge Executive Ray Jones, who says overdoses have increased nearly 50% throughout the pandemic. Jones commented that at the ceremony, various officials who have differing political stances were sitting together and adds that working together in a bipartisan manner we can further help those struggling with addiction. Let me say this, no matter who the person is, no matter how rich the family, no matter how poor the family, doesn't matter if they're Republican, Democrat, it affects everyone, regardless of party affiliation, uh, regardless of religious background. But we have had family after family ravaged and the cost to our community uh, can't be put in, in terms of dollars and cents. Former First Lady Patton says she is honored to have the building named after her and hopes to make her mother proud as she continues her work to help those in crisis. A Pike County social worker's daughter. You know, it is a great honor, and I am so humbled. It's one of the greatest honors I've ever received in my life, or will ever receive. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.